Hi guys, PJ here, once again looking at a PC release, this particular game being Final Fantasy XV. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the options and settings that are available in the game. may help you decide to buy the game at some point, may you know, sort of point out that your system is not ready for it, etc. Also trying to help out with people uh, wondering what languages are in the game. So as you boot the game, this is what you come into. Straight away you get the option for what uh, language text you want. All of what you see here are the options. I'm not even going to try and read some of these. I'm not multilingual, so uh, as you can see, there's the text. Okay. Moving on after that one, we have voice, and this is what it supports as default. Okay. So you can see yourself there, whichever one you want to choose. Let's move on from there. Next up we come to device and it's got television or home theatre so sort of guessing this is going to be audio one or the other surely let's have a look okay saving what we're going to get to next really I was going to do the in-game settings such as graphics and stuff you know see how taxing the game is didn't expect to be confronted with that as soon as we loaded the game but it is a good start at least it's got a lot of scope to support a lot of countries and a lot of you know a lot of languages etc so let's see what we're loading to. The game isn't installed on an SSD. Uh, it's on a 7200 hard drive. So loading speed obviously could be better. So if you're thinking this is taking a while, you know, yeah. Okay, we're all saved up. Next. Bonus content. Yeah, yeah. Next. Saving settings. Okay. So first thing to note, uh, this is booted into normal 16 by 9 display, yeah? Uh, we're in a 21 by 9 display, and as you can see, we've got the black bits each side, so I'm hoping there's an option in the, uh, the graphic settings to max the screen out, bring it across. So options have we got here? We have a new game, load game, downloadable content, special, which is greyed out. Hmm. Special gift from Twitch Prime, of which I did collect. Thank you very much. Not played the game yet. This is the first time I've booted it up, so uh, bear with me on that. Did try the pre-release demo or beta that they put out, should I say? Let's face it, betas are pretty much demos nowadays. But there you go. Um, options, licenses, credit, and quit and debug. Debug's an interesting one in a retail game. Okay. Options. We have. Sorry for the extremely clicky keyboard there. No matter where I put my microphone, it's like clackety clackety clack all the time. So. Not a lot I can do about that one. All right, first one, language, which is what we set up originally. I wouldn't have thought that would be any different. Yeah, it's just the two that we did previously. Difficulty. Do we have noob? Normal, easy, default. Okay, so default and normal are different. Who knows? Combat. Active, wait, or default. We're on active at the moment. Now it doesn't help because I'm not really a, a big Final Fantasy fan, so I've not like played the previous ones. I've sort of dabbled at them occasionally, but uh, everybody was saying, oh, "I'll give this a try." So uh, you know, I'm, I'm giving it a try. Right, audio. We have yeah, home theater there or television, and default is default television. Yes, it is. Right. Okay. So is the home theater surround though? Interesting. Five point one probably best guess who knows I'm on a 2.1 system here so couldn't really tell you master volume there I've turned music all the way down to zero it does have music uh, YouTube obviously have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a hissy fit if you have music on while you're uh, doing these videos sound effects there audio players spatial audio can't enable that one subtitles on and off names on and off what else have we got display Resolution. Well, we're on 1080, like I was saying. Does it support? Yes, it does. Goes all the way down to that one. 1024 by 768 is your lowest resolution. Your standard ones are supported. Look, 720p. You got a 900p. Yeah, got a 900p just there, and obviously 1080 because that's what I'm in. So let's change it to my ultra wide. Mm, yeah, maybe in game it adjusts it. Who knows? Um, monitor one if you've got more than one um i've got this plugged into a 4k tv as well which to be honest i rarely use i do prefer actually gaming on the ultra wide to the tv because 
HDR is a bit iffy on PC still. It sometimes works alright, sometimes it doesn't. So I uh, sort of don't bother, just leave that to the consoles. But you can do it. Full screen, what we got? Ooh, on and DBG, no text. Off and default. Okay. DBG. DBGs. Debug. Debug. Okay. VSync. Just on and off. We got no variable. That's a shame. FPS. We will turn that on, guys, to see how it runs uh, briefly. Luminance is preset. Cannot turn that up. That might be one to try on your 4K HDR TVs. Mm. Okay. Next up, we have. There we go. I moved out of the way. Okay, so we have system memory there. It's showing you it's using ooh, six gigabytes at the moment. And we've got FPS and GPU memory as well. Very handy. Disk space. Okay. Oh, disk speed, sorry, not space. All good. So disk speed might be an element. Should have put this on an SSD, I think. But still, we shall see. No need for Reaver Tuner this time. Okay, so we're on. Let's just see if we can open down these menus using an Xbox controller. Let's have a go. <laughs> One old Xbox controller, very worn. And mm, oh, yep, D pad. Okay, so okay, tram. So we got low, average, high, highest. Like I say, I'll max everything and just see what it does, and then we'll just have a very quick look at. Uh, the minimum it will run on. This is a six gigabyte ROG uh, GTX 1060, uh, fully overclocked. So, see how it fares. CPU, bit old. We got an old FX 8358 core at 4.2, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, as you can see there. We're recording onto an SSD, uh, Samsung one, and Windows 10 is on a Intel SSD. So we shouldn't really have any bottlenecks with the recording. Anastropic filtering. So we don't get your normal 4, 8 here, we get other options. Geo mapping. You know what? I think I'd need somebody to tell me what geo mapping is. Geo mapping. Is it textures? Who knows? I'd have to look that one up, guys. If you know what it is, pop it in the comments below. Help me out. That'd be great. Lighting. Okay, this is normally a big hit for GPUs. Go highest, shadows, highest. This looks a really taxing game. I can see you guys with your 1080 Ti's having a field day with it, but for us people that can't afford such things, I think we're going to struggle. Let's have a look. High, anti-aliasing, FXAA, TAA. Mm, not great options there. Never mind. Motion blur, on and off. Filtering. Put that on highest, like I was saying. NVIDIA Hairworks. Oh, this is a system killer, isn't it? If you've ever turned this on, on like Tomb Raider or Witcher or whatever, you, you know what I mean. This this was a killer. Oh, we got VXAO as well. Mm. You know what? I'm going to be like 20 frames a second, aren't I? Turf effects as well. Just do that. Let's be reckless. Let's go. Ooh, that's going to be bad. Brightness. Okay, nice. Brightness. Controls. Uh, yeah, loads of controls. I'll leave you to look at that. There's your options. Type B. Type A. We'll go with Type A. Pause the video if you want to look down these options. Obviously, it's uh, easier than trying to keep up with my speed there. What else we got? Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Love that one. Thanks. Keybinds. Loads. Can we not scroll using this? Yeah, we can. Okay. Now look at that. That's interesting. Keyboard 2 there is not... No, you use a definable. Yeah, you go define them. Choco. Chocobo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, we got a lot of options there. Right. Toby eye tracking seems to be blanked out, so that obviously works. Camera. Okay, yeah, camera. Cutways, camera, yep, yeah. okay. Minimap. Yeah, we need that on, don't we, guys? 
vibration on your controller. Yes. Well, I suppose you just play keyboard and mouse, really. What do you think? Guide. Yeah, I would need the guide. Okay. Display area. 100%. Hood. Off. Stamina. On. Hints. On. Okay, so that's that one. What else have we got? Hmm. Get up. Uh, ow! ow. Oh, jeez. Come on. Yeah, that was a really weird bug. That cutscene, as you could see, the whole lot was running at a one to two frames per second. No idea why. Really weird. I mean, even moving the mouse to like capture some of that, it took forever. So that is a really weird glitch, and I really hope you guys don't get it. The actual game took about 15, 16 seconds, according to my stopwatch, to load into game from the initial menu. Okay, load into like a little throne room area, lots of flame effects and stuff. It was hovering around 45 frames per second. Then you load into that cutscene. The first part of the cutscene where you're talking to what looks like the king or the ruler of the area was fine. But then when you go to this car section, I don't know, that was weird. We're in game now, and as you can see, we are GPU memory maxed. So this, you go 6 gigabyte card, when it's maxed, this will use 6 gigabytes. We are literally teetering on the edge. Now you don't want it to go over the available GPU memory. Because as you probably know, it will start trying to pull on normal memory and not slow everything down to a crawl. Okay. If you're one of these people with a like a GTX 970, a three and a half gigabyte main usable card, don't even try and run this game maxed. I mean, the consoles you you know use this game, so I don't know what their settings are. But, um, okay, let's see if we can get some movement going on. Thirty-six frames per second at the minute. Um, we're obviously not going to hit 60 at these settings. This is, like I showed you, completely maxed out at the moment. And we just pan the camera around. The detail is phenomenal. I mean, it really does look nice. I'm very impressed with how it looks. I mean, you've got exactly the YouTube compression to take into uh, account. So obviously, you guys Let viewing on YouTube, it away. does crush the image look, down. This looks happen. really nice. I must admit, the artist is Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Game. Gladio, um, do me a favor. What? Yeah, really nice. Push this thing by yourself. All by Very myself. Nice. Thirty-three you frames per second. No action kicking off or anything there. This Pronto. is just slow panning. Don't even think about it. A little Save bit of screen tear there. Pushing. And that's with V-Sync on. on. I think because we've got the we frame rate set so there. high, and it's you know, have to reset that lower. I mean, if you're going to run it utterly max oh, like this, a lot thirty would be out of the question. To be you'd rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, guy. Swearing in PC terms. Any luck? Only a but yeah, signal. it looks nice. Hold I'm impressed phone. with the way it is looks. Is it just me, or was it supposed to be way plays way nice here at 60 frames? Let's face it. The map is you can't adjust the graphics in game, right from what there. I can see. I don't Literally, know if there's a way, but you press escape like you would way. normally. No, I didn't do it earlier on in the cutscene. It was just coming up with pause. That's interesting. Okay, so if we go options and drop this stuff down, if it'll let us. Go to graphics. Still on the Xbox controller. Uh, see so you doing my clackety clack key rate. So if we try, let's just drop it to 30 and see if it holds steady at 30. Yeah. Now we have got all the Nvidia stuff on, as you can see, the hair works and everything. We've got everything. On the map on. of the world. All right, so we're on 30 now. Yeah, it's against tearing still. A bit stuttery, aren't we? No, it is holding 30. 29.9. Ooh. The world's a big old place. Ooh, we got a big time stutter. It's dead. Oh dear. These in-game cutscenes are some way bugged. Hey there. 
I don't know. France. They're not working very well. It literally makes my PC get to crawl never been out this way as soon as they cut in. Go so on, when it panned away around. from the Just car being pushed down the highway, lost. everything ground to like one frames per second again. Don't know what's cracking off with it. In game, as you can see, it's fine. Not a problem. So what I'm going to do now, as well make um, use of the extra when it time. lets me. It's just not the settings down. I mean, like I say, we're on 30 frames per second lock at the moment. Feels a bit stuttery at that. Maybe the frame times are quite, you know, right. So let's see, uh, let's drop it right down to what it defaulted to uh, on my system and just see how that runs. So we go preset and we were on average. Yeah. Uh, return to the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Let's enable that. And here we are on the average setting, uh, which I would imagine hey equates there, to Prince. medium. It has lost quite well, a bit of detail, I must admit. You can see it you? straight Go away. Uh, like I say, Just even sure though I have YouTube compression, you could probably see yourself the detail in the clothing and the ground uh, took a really big hit. Averaging. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. 35 to 45 FPS uh, now. Whoa. So it's still at 60. And this is on oh, the second lowest, the average quick. setting. Below Wait. this is low. Uh, what's a kill? So, memory, you were looking at 4.5, 5 gigabytes of VRAM used. 80% there showing. So it's quite a taxing game. Um, now, whether or not you think it's taxing because it's great looking or unoptimized. It looks nice, very nice. I'm not too sure it's totally optimized though. But guys, this is my look at Final Fantasy 15. And like I say, I said I'd show you the graphics menus and sound menus. Hopefully it's of some help to you. And maybe running it like this is showing you how well it will run on a similar system. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch and goodbye for now. See ya.